Okay, so before I do my morning workout, it's Friday, I'm going to try the Love Your Body with It um, from Tone It Up. I'm a bit nervous, so I'm procrastinating by making this video because the other day my husband and I made an impromptu trip to our local outlet village where there are basically outlet stores for the, the main brands and I picked up a few things which I thought you might be interested in so yay so I, I've got them so I'm gonna start small and work up the first thing that I want to talk about and ask about are these I don't know if anyone else has seen them they're uh, Nature Crops Quinoa Nutrition Bars. This one is with strawberry and yogurt. It's a 45 gram bar. It's high fiber, gluten free, no artificial preservatives, 0% cholesterol. You'd hope so, really. Uh, no artificial flavors, 0% trans fat, and source of protein because it's obviously it's made from quinoa. And I've also got the dark chocolate with almonds flavor. So let's just have a look at the nutritional values. On the strawberry one, it's got 169 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, 1.3 grams of saturated fat, 24.7 grams of carbohydrate, of which 12.2 grams sugars, uh, 5.3 grams of fiber, 7.1 grams of protein and 0.32 grams of salt um, and then this one the dark chocolate and almonds one has 164 calories 5.6 grams of fat 1.3 grams of saturated fat 19.3 grams of carbs 9.3 grams of sugars 4.9 grams of fiber, 6.4 grams of protein, and 0.23 grams of salt. So this one is a little lower calorie, um, but this one has more protein in it. So I'm going to use these for next. I'm going to save them till next week, but I'm going to use them for my meal twos, and I will report back. But yeah, the, um, in case you didn't know, I got these from Holland and Barrett, and Holland and Barrett currently have a buy one get one half price sale on which is kind of just why I picked them up because I thought well good to try and you know I'm always looking for ways to chew up my protein and I appear to be gluten intolerant so let's see what I'm like with these so yeah if anyone else has tried them out whoa, whoa I was way too close um, let me know what you think and I'll let you know how I find them also, I went to Paper Chase and I found the most lovely journals. I mean, Paper Chase do gorgeous journals anyway, and I am a complete stationery addict, but whatever. Um, but look, look at this. Yay! It has a little leather um, tie on it, and it has butterflies and a little nature. Um, it should have been £20, and I think I paid for. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all good. But um, it's got a leather tie to keep it all secure. And then inside it has really high quality paper keeping the butterfly theme going. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to use this for yet. Um, probably some sort of food journal, motivation journal but that's amazing go to Paper Chase they've got loads of things on serious discount and then I picked this up because it was just too cute it's so cute it's a lunch bunch um, PVC this is PVC on the outside <laughs> notebook um, and then inside the paper it's like this see so I thought this would be good for like my food journal. I don't know. I thought it was cute. I'm a sucker for reduced price efforts, but and that was also on crazy discount. Um I also got myself a new gym bag, but I'm gonna 
make a separate video about that. And you'll be all pleased to know I finally caved and got myself a yoga mat. So uh, this was from Mountain Warehouse. It's just a basic one. I think I paid eight pounds for it. Um, it is made from, she says, dun, 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 dun. <sighs> I don't know what it's made from. 940 grams. It's lightweight, waterproof. It measures 61 centimeters wide by 183 centimeters rolled up long. Um, and it's 0.4 centimeters thick. But smells interesting too. But it's purple. I like things that are purple. So yeah, Mountain Warehouse. They've got a sale on on yoga mats. So now I have one. So I'm quite pleased and excited to be. See, I'm committing to my yoga there, aren't I? Really. And then the pièce de résistance. Da, da, da. I bought myself some new trainers. I got myself some new ASICs. How gorgeous are these? Are these not amazing? And I've just realised actually that my, my gym bag matches. Wow, coordination. I even did that without trying. So these are the ASICs. Kayanos. No, they're not Kayanos, are they? GT2000 Light Show. Um. And they should have been about 105 quid, and I paid 72. So they're not the. I also have my eye on the gel Kyanos, um, the Light Show 20, but those are current range, and these are obviously the precursor to them, and they're just as nice. So I'm going to go for these. Also, they're not just pretty, but I overpronate when I run apparently um, you know all that running that I've been doing but I I was measured in my gym measured monitored um, and they told me that I over pronated and these are very good for over pronators so I'm excited to break those in and I'm going to wear them for my workout in a minute and I'll see how they go but aren't they gorgeous look how pretty they are I'm so excited for them. Okay. Oh, my little cat is coming to see what's occurring. You want to see what's going on? Come say hello. Say hello. This is my little kitten Shelby, and she's so curious, and she wants to go down. But um, yeah, that's all I have to say really. And since I don't have anything else to say, I suppose I'd better go. Love my body with some high intensity interval training. Yes, because we need to shift this. Uh, oh, and I've banned the scales. Yeah, big move, ban the scales. And the reason I've banned the scales is because I have some sort of unhealthy addiction to weighing myself. And we all know that that is a slippery slope of doom. So, no scales. No. I'm going to focus on my fitness and keep my goals fitness and measurement related so I'll still keep taking my measurements but I just don't want to be completely dependent on my scales which I seem to have been doing and yeah when you're weighing yourself multiple times a day it's it's not good it's not healthy uh, so I've banned myself from my scales we'll see how long I can go without getting on them right I'm going to go work out and uh, refill my water bottle. I'm back on this. I'm back on this. I know Friday is a stupid day to start, but, you know, I've got to just keep going and I can't make excuses. And, um, yeah, that's the only way I'm going to win the battle. Okay, thanks very much for watching, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye!